Who remembers this one, guys? A really, really good brand for you guys to be on the lookout for. This one has absolutely surprised me. When I picked them up, I saw a $30 price tag and I was about to put them back on the shelf, but this is why you need to do your research. It's a true vintage 1990s Chicago Bulls starter jacket. This is why you should always check the pockets of the clothing. There's a little zip. 45% of you guys that are watching these videos have yet to hit the subscribe button. It's my goal to try and get that number down to 40%. So if you're enjoying these videos at all, it'd be amazing to get you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free, but it has a massive effect on the success of this channel moving forward. And by having you a part of the community, I can promise you that I'm gonna make the most consistent uploads that I possibly can and have the quality of these videos to be the best that they can be. It'd be amazing to have you a part of the community. I look forward to having you on board. So my number one priority today is to find as much stock as I possibly can for this eBay business. If you're new to the channel, all these tubs that you can see behind me, the bookshelf over there, it's all inventory that I've sourced from flea markets, garage sales and thrift stores to try and sell for a profit online using eBay. I've done it for about four years and I absolutely love it. And it's days like today in the thrift that are so crucial for the ongoing success of this mini eBay business of mine. So without mucking around, I've just punched my breakfast Let's get into that first store and we'll see what we can find. Pretty excited to see a $1 book sale. So I did some digging and I found some titles. We've got Charlene Harris here. We've got a, a book series of seven, but uh, it looks like the comps are telling me it's going to be worth about $35. We don't quite have the full complete series of that set, but it is a good one. Uh, we've got some discontinued Dr. Seuss titles here, um, Scrambled Eggs, Super, and we've got also Mulberry Street uh, as well. So some good ones. I think we can get about 50 bucks for this allocation of 15 paperback books. The comps there were for 21. This one really, really interested me, guys. Um, John Bergerman, Pens Are My Friends. Um, there was a one comp on eBay for 150. I'm going to go for about mm, 90 to 100 and we'll see how we go. Now guys, I'm deliberating over this. I've just found a Chicago Bulls vintage starter jacket. Uh, the lady in the op shops just told me that it's $95 if I want it. Um, and it's only just come in. So we're getting a first look at this. Size extra large, vintage tags, uh, awesome embroidery on the sleeve with the Bulls there. A little bit of scuff marks as you can see there on the, on the sleeve. Um, but look at this. Big, nice embroidered back print. And to be honest, given it's vintage, it's still in really good condition, I think. This could be one of the dry a bone jacket sort of plays that we had a week or two ago. Um, I'm pretty tempted to go ahead with it, but I haven't yet checked the comps. So I'll do some research now and have a look, but geez, it's a great jacket. I also found these Harley Davidson motorcycle gloves. These cotton gloves were a size 3XL and the other leather ones here were a size large. Now, I reckon I can get about 50 on those ones there and the others I reckon I can get about 30. They were $25 in store and I thought it was worth going ahead with. Oh, guys, this has got to be one of the better purchases I have ever made in a thrift store. We ended up getting it for $85 as well in the end. So 85 bucks, size extra large, in incredible condition. No, no tears or anything on it, and it's a true vintage 1990s Chicago Bulls starter jacket. So let me know what you guys would want to list this up for if you had it in your eBay store. But I'm very tempted to go $250 on it. And a bit like the Dry's Bone jacket that I spoke of in store, I really do think that we'll be able to get that top dollar pretty quickly as well. It's coming into winter over here in Australia, and there just isn't many of these sort of jackets uh, over here. When I was in the States a year or two ago, um, I was looking for jackets like this, but they had them priced up for 150 odd dollars in their stores over in the US, a lot more common, but still very expensive. So, um, you know, the scarcity of it over here in Australia, there's not a lot of sales, and yet they are still going for big money over in the US. So maybe even, oh geez, as I'm thinking about it, maybe even 280. Just test the waters at 280. We'll see. Unreal find. Now, this is always a great category to get in if you're desperate in the thrift. Um, I've got some jeans here. Diesel, a very, very good jean brand. Look, 10 bucks is a pretty standard uh, thrift store price for these, but these are the D-Lusters. We've got a 32 waist, a 30 length, and the comps on eBay were telling me about $50 with some really good sales history on this one. So definitely add Diesel to your list if you're unfamiliar with this uh, brand of jeans. 
These ones are obviously in great condition. This one, wowee, guys. This one has absolutely surprised me. When I picked them up, I saw a $30 price tag, and I was about to put them back on the shelf. But this is why you need to do your research. These are the Mizuno Wave Proph Prophecy 8. They're a pair of women's shoes. And the comps on eBay, as you can see there, every single sale, well over $100. So I was absolutely blown away by that, and you bet you can absolutely guess that I picked that one up. And we've got this Ford, uh, well, it's a bit of a zip-up jumper here, I guess. Size large, 20 bucks in store. Could I have turned it into 60? I don't know. Good embroidery there, the 351 GT. I, di I didn't mind it, but in the end, I just thought that $20 was a little bit steep. So I put it back on the shelf, but I'd be interested to see any car lovers out there, any Ford fans, let me know if you would have bought that. Now, 50% off store-wide sale. Now, this is 50% off on the second item that you purchase. So I was trying to find two items. I thought I'd go into the hard goods section. It's a category I've started to have a look into a little bit. And I found this one here. Now, this one was priced up for just the 49. So this is the one that we would have got for half price. And I had a look at the comps on eBay. It was actually going for about 170. Um, so $25 for that one. I thought that was an absolute steal. It did have its remote, as you can see there as well. Uh, and I've, I've also seen this for $69. And this was the DVD C750. And I pumped that into eBay and it was saying about $300, roughly speaking. More like $250 probably. Um, so for the price that we're seeing here in store at $70, uh, the, the attendant said that everything was absolutely in working order. So I thought, uh, why not? That just seems silly. I guess it's really hard for these guys to move these sorts of items, but on eBay... Well, that's a different story. All right, we're back home now, guys, and I'm madly going ahead and listing up all of this stock. Um, pretty successful day in the thrift. I wanted to show you this. Um, it, the brand is actually MacPack. Uh, I'm just trying to find the tag on it. There it is. There. There it is, MacPack. So, a really cool jacket, this one. It's a women's size 10, a hiking jacket. We should be able to get about 50 to 60. I reckon probably about 50 for that. Um, but a really, really good brand for you guys to be on the lookout for. I found that in the same store as I found this. And guys, this is why you should always check the pockets of the clothing. Have a look at this. Under the Chicago logo, there's a little zip. And I did this while I was doing my photos. Should have done it in store. We have got $15. How cool. So it was a pretty successful day yesterday, without a doubt. Um, it wasn't actually the only pieces of electronics that I was able to pick up from that cash converters. There was another one that I picked up at the checkout as well that I wasn't able to film. So I'm going to quickly show you that now. This is it here. We've got the Panasonic NVHD620. It's a VCR player. And there's even a VCR in there as well that he was able to show me. Uh, tested, working, completely fine. There is warranty with cash converters, but I believe this will be completely fine to go on to sell as is in good working order. I did plug it in and it did light up there as well. So I'm pretty confident with this device and I did some searching on eBay and I'm gonna go ahead and list this one up for $135. So it did have a $60 price tag on it and we ended up getting it for about $40. I think it actually might've been $45 uh, because we bought the other two devices uh, which I've got up the top there. And then we've also got another one here. I've just gotta find some housing locations uh, for those devices. but. A really cool little third find there. Um, we're going to go ahead and list it up. Like I said, 135, which turns the total deal into a 495 value, and I paid $140. So these are categories I'm going to start to get into a whole lot more. Now, what I like to do every morning is look out the sales orders. Always a very, very important task. So I figure, why not continue to turn the camera on and show you guys these 10 sales that I'm going to be putting into the mailbag. And then from there, we're going to go to the post office, drop them off, and then we're going to do some more thrifting. So I had obviously some really good success in there yesterday. I woke up feeling pretty excited to get back out into the thrift today. Um, so stick around for that. There's going to be a bit more thrifting content in this video and hopefully some really cool finds. Okay. So I did some manipulating in my store with the hat section and I ended up going ahead and putting a grouping together of these three beanies. And if you're watching in Canada, toques. Um, and what I've gone ahead and done is I've just lotted them up rather than sending them off individually. So I ended up getting these three beanies, which are the Big Freeze Fight MND Charity Series beanies that they have for Neil Danaher in the AFL. Um, I've sold them for 25 bucks and I did initially try to list them all up for $20 each. They are a true collector's item. If you've got all 10 of them, 
I think they go for upwards of $200. So only having the three, I went with a $25 cheap and nasty price point just to get the job done. And I was able to see a sale turnaround after I made the adjustment in just two days. So for an item or three items that I had listed up in my store that was sitting around for well over six months, I was able to manipulate the sale, obviously make a little bit less in money, but at least get them out the door, knowing that they're a category that I don't really wanna be selling too much more moving forward. There were two other sales as well in the hat section, which I'm really happy about, because like I said, I'm trying to transition out of it. Look at this. This one here is a mask with the uh, Seattle Seahawks. There they are there, Seattle Seahawks, and it's like a Mexican wrestling mask. Really quite funky. I actually found this in the Goodwill bins. Um, so Goodwill bins over in the US, um, a really unique style of thrifting for us over here in Australia anyway. Um, this would have cost me about 20 cents because it's paid by the pound over there, and it's only a pound or two for an entire pound's worth of gear. Um, so I was able to pull that out, obviously a very lightweight item. Um, so that wouldn't have cost me much at all. And we got a $20 sale price, albeit it did take a year to sell. Um, this was a really cool hat that I picked up from a wholesale purchase uh, from the USA. We've got a Green Bay Packers vintage snapback baseball cap. It's got like a woolen um, texture or woolen material to it. Uh, a really nice hat in great condition and it is vintage. 80% acrylic, 20% wool, made in Taiwan, Team NFL. So... $30 is what we got for that hat. Um, so what's that, 30, 50, and 25? So $75 in the hat game, if my maths is correct. And they will all go for an $8.50 postage rate. So $8.16, 20, let's say 25 bucks in postage. Uh, we've got $50 worth of hat sales, uh, which is really good considering I don't want any more of these. Now, this video game section, especially this shelf up here, is looking pretty empty. And that's a good thing, but it does mean I need to go out and buy more video games. But we had three sales in the video game category come through overnight. And it's these three right here. This one here sold for $37.95. So we're talking about $3 a game. And as you'll see, none of these titles are anything crazy. They sell for $10 to $15 on eBay. So I'm happy to get them off in a bulk bundle for 3 bucks each. This one here was a pretty cheap one for just the $22. Nothing too crazy on those Xbox games. I don't want to sell them off individually, so the group allocation is definitely the way to go. And then this one here was an awesome one that I highly recommend you guys build up and do. Uh, we've got Call of Duty. We've got six different games there. That sold for $40. So when you add all that up, guys, we've made $100 in three different sales that I'm going to be putting off into the mailbag today. So games that you would normally discredit are still able to go on to sell in bulk for some pretty, you know, pretty decent money. 100 bucks, that's nothing to sneeze at. So I highly recommend you game, do your games that way. I've spoken about it a lot on this channel. Have all the good games listed up individually at $20 or more, and then sell off anything under that at two, three, four dollars a piece. I was also able to sell this beautiful card. Who remembers this one, guys? Oh man, I do. So when the Pokemon movie came out back in the year 2000, they gave out these promotional cards uh, as a part of the movie when you would go and see it. So basically these cards here are incredible, or this card I should say, it's a one of one. Um, and it's the, uh, the movie promotional Mew of 1999, Wizards of the Coast. And this one, in, in all honesty with you, just having a good observation of it, I think it could be pretty close to a PSA 10. I'm no card grading expert, but that right there is a piece of Pokemon history. And I was able to get a 24-hour turnaround. I was going to go and get it graded, but I've decided that I'll sell it off raw. And we got a $65 sale price pretty much instantly. So Pokemon cards, definitely, definitely something to be on the lookout for. Okay, now you guys might have remembered Courtney and I went out thrifting the other day. And I found these, which I absolutely raved about. I thought they were a really cool collector's pair of ASICs. They're the Gel Quantum 380, or sorry, 360. Um, they are definitely used, no doubt about it. The gel, as you can see there, is cracking away. Um, but they are still in, in definitely usable condition and the soles still have a lot of life left in them. Now, if you have these shoes in brand new condition, they can go for upwards of $250 to $300 in present day. Um, you know, pre-owned like new is what I mean by that. Uh, but these ones obviously having heavy wear, I ended up taking a best offer of $65. So 65 bucks in a turnaround that would have been no more than a week uh, I think it's a very good result. I did pay $20, I think it was, in store, um, but to turn that into $65 in a matter of a couple of days, 
um, definitely proves that that is a shoe uh, to put on your bowler list. Uh, even though it looks pretty old and, and dirty, um, yeah, there are collectors out there for that type of ASIC. All right, the next one here is a DVD bundle called The Slayer's Next, um, or The Slayer's Try, and then the original Slayer. So basically three volumes of this TV show. Not sure if that is a complete set or not, uh, but this one was bought in a private pick, and he was trying to sell this before I got my hands on it. Uh, he was trying to sell it for $95, and the comps weren't saying that for me, so I dropped the price down to about 60 and I think we've got about a $58 sale price come through today. So 58 bucks. I didn't pay a lot for it out of that big bulk private pick. Um, but we're able to get that one done, which will hopefully fit into a small satchel. Actually, from the looks of it, it might be a medium satchel. But a great sale price at 50, 56 or $58. And then I knew that these would do well. We had a turnaround on our Harley Davidson gloves that we picked up yesterday in the thrift. Um, so I bought these for $25, as you guys know, with the other um, sort of leather gloves. Um, but these ones here sold for $29.99. So $30, I'm going to put them into a small satchel for $8.50. And we've still got the other gloves. But in my mind, they're the better gloves. I've listed those up for $45. Um, so what's that? In total, it'll end up being about $70 worth of value uh, for $25. So we've almost on those ones there within less than a day, um, we've got our money back, which is beautiful. Always a nice feeling to get that out of the way. Time now to go and do some more thrifting. Finally, we've had some luck in the DVD category. I'm always looking, but I'm finding it tougher and tougher. The Adams Family Volume 2, guys, about 20 bucks on this one. Uh, you wouldn't believe it, but I'm paying just a dollar each in store here today. So some really good profit opportunity. Uh, the Last Kingdom as well. Every single episode of this show, Season 1 of 5, you guessed it, about $75 worth of value on that one there. Uh, I also went into the shoe section and I found some hats uh, lying on the little seat there. And... Uh, this brand was one that I personally hadn't heard of, Barmer, Barmer Australia. 15, comps on eBay about $35 to $40. In the end, I just thought, not enough profit, let's leave it behind. I've been going to this store for years, literally. And uh, it's the first time that they've actually had DVDs for a dollar each, and there wasn't a sale running either. So I think they might have changed their pricing structure, and they've gone from basically a dollar a disc to now a dollar a DVD, which is obviously so much better. There's about $80 worth of value there, and we only paid the six bucks. I'm having a pretty lucky day, to be fair, guys. Check these shoes out. We've got the Ciccone Ride 16s here. It's more about the condition and the color. Also the size, also the price. It's only $15, they're a US size 12. I think we'll be able to get about $50 for these. Very, very happy with that. But right next to it, you wouldn't believe it. We've got the bees knees of running shoes, the Asics Gel Keanu 29s. Uh, these are a pair of women's US nine and a half. Uh, incredible condition, really, to be fair. I don't know how these sorts of shoes get donated, to be honest with you. $15, these will actually go on to sell on eBay for about 100 bucks, and that's what I'm gonna price it up for. And I've also got this here as well, Sex and the City, the complete series, HBO. A nice case to this one, because Sex and the City is usually a big, heavy box. It costs a lot to ship. However, in store here at a dollar a disc, that would have been about 17 bucks. So I had to leave it on the counter because it only sells for about 40. I moved into the book section and I had a bit of a look here and just like we did with the Dr. Seuss set, I found a big set here of uh, How to Train Your Dragon and as you'll see here by the comps, uh, because I've got 12 books, it's a little bit more than what the comps say over there. So I th I th I'm actually gonna go pretty high. I'm gonna go about 70 odd dollars on this set and we'll see how we go. Huge day in the thrift. If you want any more thrifting content, go and check out this video.